you do these for me? Uh, some for the front of the house, some for the back. So how was work last night? You know, it was all right, same as always. Bunch of young professional middle management types having cocktails twice what they'd be anywhere else, blabbering about what they have and what they've done. At least they tip well, even if it's just because they want to take you home. You know, loud assholes fumbling around, tripping over themselves. Whoops. Sorry, honey, didn't mean to grab your ass. You know, I can quit. Get a new job if you want. No, I can't. Money's too good. You know how I like the male attention. How's the soup? It's good. You just had one. I'm gonna go. with my soup. You know what? It's all right. Take your time. chicken on it. So if I get a new one that'd be great. Tastes fucking vegan to me. It's got mayonnaise. I don't care. It's veganaise. Whatever. Veganaise. This sandwich is going out with the tomato. It's not going out with the tomato. 
That's why you make six fifty. They can pick it off themselves. What is with you? <laughs> Always with the fucking tomato. It's the most delicious part of the sandwich. And you know what? If they don't like it, it's also the easiest part to pick off. It's not their job to pick it off. You're right. It's their job to eat it. You're unbelievable. So, how's your first day going? It's fine, it's slow, but it's yeah. good. Yeah, tell me about it. Is that guy drinking beer and eating ice cream? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, he comes in here pretty much every day, orders a bottle of beer and a bowl of ice cream. Weird. Yeah. Do you know him? Do you hear anything about him? Or? No, not really, no. He, uh, he doesn't really talk much. He'll come in for Brewers games and kind of mumble to himself yeah. about it, but <laughs> to be honest, like, I don't even know the guy's name. Really? Yeah. I know, I wonder, like, by the coat, he's probably a vet, or... Yeah. No, he's a Vietnam vet, yeah. I guarantee. Yeah, you know what? He was on a night out in the town with his fellow soldiers. Mm -hmm. They go to a small saloon where he meets a 15-year-old prostitute by the name of Charlene. <laughs> Charlene, the Vietnamese prostitute? Yeah, okay, whatever. Anyway, so she approaches him and asks him to take her somewhere. Well, he's not really sure what to do, but of course he's smitten yeah. with her beauty, yeah. so they end up going to a cafe where she orders a bowl of ice cream. Well, it's hot, it's Vietnam, what are you gonna exactly. have? So they talk, and he ends up falling in love with her. Well, he takes her back to his hotel, just to give her a place to stay. Right? Yeah, because he's in love with her. He's a nice guy. He doesn't want to compromise yeah. any of her, too. He ends up uh, sitting up, watching over as she sleeps, but he leaves before she wakes up okay. and leaves $50 on the bed stand. So it's gonna make a living, I understand. Yeah. And still to this day, he eats his bowl of ice cream in honor of her. Yeah, it's weird. It just sits there. Oh